With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, here the question is, a machine as shown has two rods of length 1 meter connected by a pivot at the top. The end of the rod is connected to the floor by a stationary pivot and end of the other rod has a roller that rolls along the floor has a in a slot. As the roller goes back and forth, 2 kg weight moves up and down. Then, if the roller is moved towards right with a constant speed, weight moves up with a speed which is 3 by 4 of the roller than the than when weight is 0.4 meter above the ground. So, we have given here that we have a machine here like this. Here is a pivot and there are two rods. These two rods have length 1 meter each. This is a fixed, this one rod is fixed to the ground with this fixed pivot and other rod is uh, connected with a pivot which is rolling on this floor. So, when this uh, roller is moved for, uh, back and forth, this the weight 2 kg is moving up and down. So, we have to calculate or determine when this roller, ro rolling roller is moved towards right the speed of this uh, speed of this 2 kg mass will increase or decrease. So we have drawn here a diagram like this. We have assumed that this distance x is given. So if the center point if we find this distance is x by 2. Angle here theta is between this roller and the weight. We have given his uh, the weight as name c. So we know here this distance suppose let it, it is y. So dy divided by dt will be equal to vc. Means this displacement y is of this mass 2 kilogram and when this is changed with respect to time we will get the speed or velocity of this mass. Then we have also one more equation dx by dt is equal to speed of the roller uh, we will say here it is a. So this roller a has velocity VA which is dx by dt. Now if we see the diagram, we can calculate the values of sin theta and cos theta. So sin theta is opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Opposite side is y, hypotenuse is 1. So sin theta is equal to 1. And cos theta is adjacent side. Adjacent side is here x by 2. x by 2 divided by 1 which is equal to x by 2. Now, we can differentiate this sin theta and cos theta terms with respect to time. So, sin theta is equal to y and cos theta is equal to x by 2. If we differentiate this with respect to time, we will get minus of cos theta into d theta by dt is equal to dy by dt. And here, sin theta into d theta by dt it is equal to 1 by 2 into dx by dt. Now, we know that cos theta into d theta by dt will be equal to dy by dt is the dy by dt speed of that mass vc. And here sin theta into d theta by dt will be equal to 1 by 2 into dx by dt is vc. Sorry, va. So, we can write here d theta divided by dt is equal to va divided by 2 sin theta. Now we can substitute this value in this equation. So vc will be equal to minus of cos theta into va divided by 2 into sin theta. So sin theta into cos theta is equal to tan theta. So minus of va will be equal to uh, sorry, uh, Vc is equal to minus of Va divided by 2 tan theta. So, this is the expression for velocity or speed of that mass. We will only consider the magnitude of this one. So, the expression here will be Vc is equal to, what is the expression? Va divided by 2 tan theta. Now, if this C moves towards right, 
then this angle will increase theta will go on increasing and if theta will increase then this value or uh, of tan theta will also increase and then vc will decrease so we can say that when the mass is moving towards right vc will decrease the speed of that mass will decrease here so we will uh, correct the option here option c thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today